Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. I'm very pleased to announce that the search for the newest Prescott City Manager is just about over. Council narrowed down about 50 candidates to a final pool of four. Travis Cutright, who is the Chief Information and Innovation Officer for the City of Mesa, Catherine Gregory, past Deputy City Manager, comes from the City of Peoria, Arizona, Mark Rooney is the Village Administrator for Round Lake Beach, Illinois, and Tyler Goodman, who is currently the Interim City Manager here in Prescott. Last Thursday, we held a meet and greet for the four candidates, which was open to the public, and about 100 people came to meet the candidates during the event. On Friday, the candidates were interviewed by the council in an executive session. Afterwards, we held a discussion among ourselves to consider the information we received during this process. We hope to make a selection announcement later this week. Due to recent storms, Public Works has had to take extra measures to ensure safe levels in the lakes as well as considering surface water quality. As of Friday, Willow Lake was still flowing over the spillway. Once the level at Willow Lake drops below the spillway, the 12-inch valve at the base of the dam will be closed. Watson Lake will continue to discharge water until the water in the lake is seven feet below the spillway. Water has been tested for E. coli levels at several locations along Granite Creek, as well as Watson Lake, Willow Lake, and Upper Goldwater Lake. E. coli is a naturally occurring bacteria that is always present in local streams and lakes. After these storms, we tested numerous times to ensure that E. coli is not at an unsafe level. I'm pleased to report that as of Friday, all lakes are safe for boating, kayaking, paddleboarding, and fishing. E. coli levels typically subside relatively quickly after big storm events. The city will continue rigorous testing to ensure our water is safe. Nonetheless, please remember, Swimming is always prohibited at city lakes. Regarding potholes, the Public Works Department is working diligently on the potholes. I know we've got a lot of them out there right now. The problem has been that every time it dries out enough to do some patching, we get another storm coming in. I do ask for your patience. We're aware of the issues and believe me, we're doing our best. Speaking of road work, the City of Prescott and their contractors are set to begin the fiscal year 2023 multi-layer pavement preservation project. This project includes various pavement maintenance and preservation operations along a multitude of roadways throughout the city. Maps will be viewable on our social media channels. Detailed door hanger notifications will be delivered to those directly affected prior to pavement maintenance or preservation operations beginning on each roadway. This notification will include information regarding the specific treatment, the associated access, work hours, and potential impacts related to these operations. Residents can expect work to continue Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. There may be occasional night and weekend work. Be aware of the potential for temporary street closures, lane restrictions, reduced speeds, loud noise, and flagging operations throughout the work zones. We ask that you avoid on-street parking while the road construction is underway. Once complete, these improvements will extend pavement life and improve the road quality for Prescott motorists. It's anticipated that the work will be completed this summer. The 2023 hazardous waste pickup is now complete and was a great success. There were 750 specialty pickups completed. These types of projects help to keep Prescott safe from contaminants. If you ever wonder how to recycle a waste item, we have a recycle wizard on our website to help you out. The link to the recycle wizard is below. We have a free brush drop-off event during April City of Prescott residential trash customers can drop off brush for free every Saturday in April at the transfer station. Please bring an ID or your trash bill.
Water is one of the most vital and precious resources in Arizona, and April is Water Awareness Month. The city's Water Resources Department is offering a new water conservation tip each day on our social media channels, so be sure to check those out. Here's a hot tip. The City of Prescott's water conservation team has just launched their new website full of great resources, which is linked below. I'm Mayor Phil Good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.